So I thought, uh, I was doing another video and I thought, well, my helmet's pretty dirty, so I'll go ahead and do a quick one here on how I clean it. Uh, this is a once a week thing, so if I hit a big, huge bug, then uh, it gets cleaned more frequently. I don't think this is any mystery, but the uh, the active foam from Motorex uh, Helmet Care is awesome. Uh, especially in you know, summertime, it's super hot outside, so I generally take this stuff here and I kind of spray it all inside. Anything that's fabric, basically. Um, kind of in here with the mouthpiece area as well. Yeah, anything that's fabric is going to benefit from, from this stuff. Let it sit for a second. It's the uh, Motorex Oil of Switzerland uh, Active Foam Helmet Care. It just keeps the... It, it, we really, I, I, if you've never used this stuff before, you're probably in a helmet that's just full of mold. But after you use this stuff, let it dry overnight. The next morning when you put the helmet on, first thing in the morning, it's like 80 degrees outside. Put the helmet on and it's like, it just feels heavenly. Cause it smells like a really, really clean, like, um, you know, men's clothing store. And it feels nice. It's like soft again. So this stuff is really amazing. And then just take a microfiber towel and I just clean up any areas where the foam may have gotten. I got a little loose piece here. There we go. Yeah, anywhere the foam got, just, you don't, have to, you don't have to be exact about it. It will get in all these little grooves in where the, the you know, behind the foam, behind the, uh, the, the liner, but, um, you know, just go through and give it your best shot. You're not wearing it until the next day anyway, so keep things fresh. And then, um, two products today. We've got the Chemical Guys Glassworks, and we've got the uh, Chemical Guys, uh, it's a Carnuba-based detailing spray, and I'll tell you why we're using the Carnuba-based stuff in a moment. So make sure this is sealed. This is on a Shoei uh, GT Air. Close up your, your vents. Um, this is an aftermarket uh, visor, so it doesn't quite pop in like the stock one. So we're just going to spread this down with the glass works. And the chemical guys, they really nail the, um, the aroma on this stuff. It just smells amazing. We're going to reuse this last one here. And you know, this is an older microfiber, so it's probably not ideal. Try to get on your fiber without edges and without, um, this has edges, and without, and for sure, even if you use one that has edges, um, at least remove the tag from the towel. So right now, we're just basically getting all the grime and dirt off this helmet. Anything that may have been caught on it. Usually bugs, sometimes, you know, soot, exhaust, whatever it is that you're, you're behind a big polluting F-350. All right, now that that is done, we're going to use this sprayable Carnuba. Uh, what it does is, you know, probably the only benefit that I can kind of vouch for is that it's going to make the, um, the surface, I mean, it's going to fill in all these little tiny surface scratches. So you're going to get less drag at high speeds. That's all BS though, uh, because really what it does is it makes the helmet shine. It feels better to the touch. Right now I've got this kind of drag. And I guess I could probably come through here with a um, with a, a clay bar, but you know, it's it's just a helmet, it's not metal. So we're just gonna take this here and make sure these again these are closed. This is a light spray around the whole body. Try to get all these sections here. There we go. Clean microfiber towel and just hit all the areas you just sprayed. Get in those nooks and crannies. And I don't even know how well this will come out in camera, but I cannot even begin to tell you or explain how smooth the surface of this helmet is now after doing this. I mean, it feels, it feels like I'm just on a piece of silk is how smooth everything has gotten. We're almost done here. Yeah, it just feels really, really nice. And you will see some of the scratches remaining here, but um, you know, for the most part, you're you're getting all of that 
out of there. Only thing left to do would be uh, for the Shoei GT Air is to clean this um, inner line, inner drop down sun visor. This thing gets a little dirty. And we're done. So that's kind of my my once a week uh, process that I take on this helmet just to keep things in tip top form. Um, feels good, feels soft, you know, keep this up overnight, let everything air out in there, and then you're ready to ride. Thanks, Heather.